Here's a video I created from three separate images using Kling AI's Elements feature. I uploaded this image of me, this image of a street scene, and this image of a wild orange suit. All of these were AI generated, and then I told Kling how to combine those things to make the video. Aside from the strange space age door on this building and a few little quality jitters, it came out pretty good. Let me show you where to find this in Kling and how to use it, and then I have several other examples that I tried. Some turned out better than others. Once you're signed in to KlingAI.com, come over to the left and click on AI videos. Then make sure you're on this image to video tab and that you have elements selected just below image to video. Now you can upload one to four images to use in your video. And if you've generated your images in Kling, you can also select them from the history. I'm gonna bring in images that I've generated elsewhere. So drag in the image of me, drag in the image of this street scene, and drag in the image of this wild orange suit. Now we need to give it a prompt and tell it how we want these things to come together in a video. For more help and examples on that, you can click the little help center link. For what I'm trying to do here, I wanna get this guy wearing this suit coming out of a building and walking toward the camera. So that's basically what my prompt is. A man wearing an orange suit and a purple tie walks out of the building onto the sidewalk and looks toward the camera. So now as long as Kling can recognize that this is the man, this is the orange suit, and this is the building sidewalk and street, it should be able to figure out how to put these elements together together into the video I'm asking for. After my images are in there and I've typed my prompt explaining how I want the images to work together in the video, just click the generate button. For me, it's been taking about eight to 10 minutes to generate one of these videos at five seconds long. I'll show you some other results of me in that orange suit in a minute, but first let's look at a few other things I tried. I gave it this image of a middle-aged dude, this image of a professional woman, this image of an attache case, and this image of a warehouse. All these were AI generated. And the idea was I wanted to have this guy given this attache case to this woman in this warehouse. The prompt I used is at the top of the screen, and in this first attempt, we've got the guy, we've got the gal, we've got the attache case, we've got the warehouse, which is slightly different than what our original image was, but it's pretty close. But the main action I was looking for of him giving her the case it doesn't happen. I tweaked the prompt a little bit to start with the scene. Looks like we've got all the pieces here, and he tries to give her the case, but she doesn't seem interested. I tweaked that prompt a little bit more and again she is just not interested in taking this case he's really trying this time but she is not taking it i thought maybe i needed to be specific in those prompts before i have him giving her the case him handing her the case i never really said that she accepts it so i try to add that explicitly and this time she defies physics to accept the case holding it there by one corner and that appears to be giving it back to him there were quality issues in those clips like morphing and physics problems, but I didn't really get into re-rolling to try and work out those issues because I was focused on trying to get it to just do the action of him handing her the case and her taking it. Moving on to something different, I gave it this image of me, this car, and this street. The idea was to have me driving that car down this street. The first run came out okay once I got over in the right lane, but then as you start to see my face, it's really low quality and I don't think it looks like the image I gave it. The second roll of this, keeping everything the same, has my driver's side wheel turned in weird. I'm sitting in the passenger seat, apparently driving this vehicle. I'm all over the road and it appears I'm very angry, perhaps over this outrageous mustache I have. So after two attempts where I don't really look like me, I went in and swapped out that image of me and gave it this one instead. Now I seem to be a giant, my front wheel is bent all kinds of crazy and I'm all over the road. My fourth and final attempt at this one shrunk the car even more, put me in the middle and makes no sense. Next up, I wanted to have this dog playing with this ball in this room. The first attempt at this one probably turned out the best and that's really not saying much. I tweaked the prompt a little bit and now the ball just has a mind of its own. It disappears and reappears. Parts of the dog blur, blend, disappear. It's just not good. One more attempt at this, the ball seems to be rolling on its own, and then parts of the dog or the ball pass through the chair and come back out. It just doesn't work. Now that video of me in the orange suit walking out on the street, I told you I had some other results, and here they are. This is the first roll, the one I showed at the beginning of the video. I rolled that a second time, keeping all the elements, images, and prompt the same, and I don't know if the weird door on that building is more or less weird than the first roll, but this version has a really long weird tail on my coat on this one side, 
side. And then it has this goofy car, non-car thing coming together over there in the street. In those first two runs, I specifically said a man with short blonde hair and clear framed eyeglasses wearing an orange suit, blah, blah, blah. In many cases, when you're using a model or an image guidance kind of thing, I find that it helps if you give it some specific details about the thing that you're referencing. So instead of just giving it the picture of me, if I say things like short blonde hair and clear framed glasses, it tends to help it do a better job. Not always, but I want to explain why I put that in the prompt. For this last role, I took that extra description of me out and just left it at the man wearing the orange suit walking onto the street. Again, it doesn't seem to know how to deal with the door on this building. The overall quality is less than awesome, and it seems to want to put extra stuff on this suit jacket on my left side, which would be the right side of the screen. And I'm thinking that issue is probably because this image of the suit that I uploaded, it has that part of the suit folded back and the pants tucked in there. So I think it's just over interpreting that it needs to do something different here on this corner of this jacket. Now, if you want to see Kling's official guidance on how to use elements, just click that help center link in the prompt box when you have image to video and elements selected. It'll bring you to this page, which shows you examples similar to some of the things that I did, like providing a girl a stage and a crown, and then giving it a prompt that says, on the stage, a girl wearing fashionable clothes and a crystal crown calmly gave at the camera, or uploading an image of a cat, a leather jacket, and sunglasses, and giving the prompt of a standing cat character wearing a jacket and sunglasses strikes a pose toward the camera on the stage. And if you're not a cat person, but you want to dress up your dog instead, they show an image of a dog and a jacket, and say, a white Bichon Frise wearing a red floral Chinese style winter coat licks its paw. And they give you some more examples and perhaps inspiration of what you can do with Kling's elements. Indeed, there were a lot of duds here, but I'm kind of excited about this. Being able to bring together these elements from separate images, a character, multiple characters, an object, a scene, put them all together in one video, that's pretty cool. I think it's a decent step toward consistent characters and being able to build scenes and clips that have everything you want in them without having to get it in a single image generation first, which might work, but doesn't always. This gives us a different way to approach it. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Kling and I am not an affiliate. I'm just sharing what I found, how it worked, and what I think about it. I appreciate you hanging out with me, and I hope you'll come see me in another video.